Welcome to our How to Mod Sid Meier's Civilization 5 tutorial. We're going to be starting from the ground up. This is pretty much for people who have no idea what they're doing. Now I do assume you'll have Steam installed since that comes with the game because we're going to go through Steam from your taskbar down here. Click on Library. Then when that opens up, All Games, then click Tools. And then somewhere on this list, you'll see the Civ 5 SDK. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. There we go. That's going to start installing. And I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. So we have the SDK package installed. Notice it says ready to play now. I'll close this out. Now when we go through Steam, we'll get SDK option. So we'll click that. All right, and then we're going to get this screen popping up. But before we can use the mod byte, it's going to want this Visual Studio software. Fortunately, it takes us right there. So we're going to download and install this. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, now that we have the Visual Studio installed, we can start using the mod buddy. And as soon as you boot it up, it's going to need your Civ 5 path which I think in most cases it's probably going to find it itself. And then for the user path, uh, if you like me, under your My Documents, you have a My Games. Then there's a Civ 5 folder, and then you click on Mods. Click OK. Update. And finally, we're here at the Mod Buddy screen, ready to start making a mod. So we're going to click New Mod. Make sure empty mods selected. Don't want generic name. Call it Fancy Mouse. Okay, I don't like to put them in the mod buddy folder. I've had trouble getting them to work. So we're going to put them where we originally told it My Games, Civ 5, Mods, Select Folder. Click OK. Title, call it Tester. Alright, the next thing to do is create a little bit more groundwork. I'm going to come over here and add a folder, call it XML. That's the coding language. This is just kind of useful if you want to add like Lua script and other stuff later on. So now within here, add new item. I'm going to do XML code. When you're naming your files, you're going to be sure and avoid names that already exist in the CIF5 database. Like, don't just call it buildings. We'll call it Asshole. So the next thing that we need to do is actually tell our mod what it's going to be doing. So we're going to go to the, click on the, the mod name, look at its properties, then go to actions, notice it says blah blah blah, controls what it's done. Now this is all sort of nice, you just have to type this all out by hand. Haven't modded in a while, so. It's actually much nicer than it used to be. So I have to tell what file to update. And since I put my file behind this folder, you have to put the folder in first. And extension. OK. Save. Back to the drawing board. Now we're ready to start coding. Now we're just going to do something sort of simple. The whole point of this is just to make sure we can get the mod actions to start showing up in game. Once you get that, you can code and worry about all the other stuff that you want your mod to be doing. So for this example, we're just going to say change the Coliseum's happiness. So the first thing you need is your category. Next thing you need is 
sort of like the command telling it what to do, update. And it needs to know where set or what it's doing first. Set happiness equals, we'll just say four. Close that. And then it needs to know where where type equals. And this part's all caps building. Okay. Now we're going to have separate videos about how you look up what coding you need, how you know what you type to make the changes that you want to make. But again, for now, we're just trying to make sure it shows up in game. So then we're going to save. And this is very important. You need to go uh, start debugging or build the thing. And when I get that, it tells me I have an error. some uh, parentheses was found out of place. And I'm not sure exactly what this is telling me because I didn't mess with any of that. But I'm sure someone um, much wiser than me can tell me what that means in the comments. But for our purposes it's not going to matter. So we have this all saved up and now we're going to go to the game. Okay, before we finally launch the game there's one more very important step to take under Browse Mods track down the mod you just made click enable sometimes you get a little quick installing meter but it, usually it's very very rapid and then be sure you do single player under mods and then here we go just I'll launch a quick game here to make sure that our uh, Coliseum happiness is showing up alright here we go so we're just going to go take a peek. Construction, there you go. Coliseum, plus four happiness. That means our mod's showing up. That means we can start finally looking at the changes that we actually want to make, which is the most fun part. So happy modding. Uh, I invite you to take a look at our video on coding. And for Game Axiom, I'm Jonathan.